Hi YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video. This is going to be one of the 18 bags that I had before I started YouTube. So let's just get that out of the way right away. I asked, you guys voted that yes, you wanted to see the 18 bags that I had before I started all this. And to be frank, I've found a few more bags. So it's probably going to be more like 20 bags that I had before I started YouTube. And so I'm just rolling these out and showing you what I think is special, what I like about these bags. You can still find almost anything you want on the pre-love market, and so it's not like you can't get them if you try, at least in most cases. Today's unboxing is a Gucci unboxing, and I'm boxing these bags up when I can because I think it's a funner experience. It makes it more special. I'm going to set her down right now and get into it in just a minute, but I want to show you my bag of the day, and I also got the rest of those Scully leather jackets that I told you I had on order. This is one, and I showed this one to you, but I haven't tried it on yet, so I thought I would try it on today. And then this one came, and I think this might be my very favorite. It doesn't even really look exactly like it did in the picture because in the picture on the Western Wear or on the Western Company's website, there was a little pocket right here with like a flap. And honestly, I didn't like that part about it. And when I got it, it wasn't there. And so I don't know if this was just a different style, but I love the details. I really like how if you look closely, it's distressed. And one thing I noticed about these Scully jackets is they put a thin wire around the edge so you can shape the collar and the flap a little bit. Like, let me just show you, for example, you see how I just bent that there? I think that's pretty nice because you can get the look however you want it and then it stays put. And of course I have this one that I got in Montana. Now this one is available on the Western Company's website. And by the way, I don't get any commission or anything out of showing you that these are on the Western Company's website. They don't have an affiliate program, but this one's $175.99 and then there's a 15% off coupon if you Google it. And I may link it down below if I can find it. And so you can get it for like under $150. And I paid, I think I paid like $220 maybe for it or $225. So you're getting a much better deal than I did. But these other two, I paid $130 for this one. And I paid $115 for this one. And they're all lamb leather. And they all feel amazing. Now I will tell you that this brown one, it almost felt just a little bit tacky. I mean, it, it just felt a little sticky to me when I very first got it. And so I did a little experiment on it, given that it's not a super expensive jacket. And I took some matte acrylic finisher. It's something I use on handbags if they get a little sticky spot sometimes. And I just put a tiny bit of it on the inside of the collar to find out if it would make it smoother because it will make a handbag smoother. And by golly, it did. And the directions on the matte acrylic finisher to put it on something like this is to put it on a rag and then just to rub it all around. And you wanna make sure you just rub fast and then you stop. You don't keep going over it because then you'll get streak marks because it dries so fast. But I did pretty much the whole jacket and it's silky or it's not silky. It's very easy to run my hand over it now. My hand doesn't wanna to stick to it like it did. So I don't know what was happening with that, but for $150, but for $115, and it was final sale anyway, I'm happy. And I did order more of the matte acrylic finisher. I think I'm going to put on just a little bit more when I get it. Four ounces is $7.74 on Amazon. I can link it down below. And I mean, I had a one ounce bottle and there was only this much left. And that was enough to do the jacket one time. And it made a huge difference. So my bag of the day is the beautiful Speedy 20. Now, I recently sold the strap that went with this, and I showed you all the straps I like to use with it, but I just figured out, I think one of my favorites may be my favorite strap, and it's actually from the Favorite MM bag by Louis Vuitton, and I like it so much because it doesn't have any adjustments, and it hits me in the perfect spot. And so let me just show you real quick. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and try on the brown of these jackets. 
This one is called the sanded motorcycle jacket. And you can see it's a very fitted look. This one's kind of squeaky sounding still. I think once I put a little bit more of that matte acrylic finisher on it, it'll be better. But if I didn't have a long shirt coming out of it, I might zip it up a little way. I was like kind of stretching it out a little bit because I think I'm kind of between a medium and a large, but it fits pretty darn good, especially if I leave it open. I think that that strap fits amazingly with this bag and it looks pretty cute with the jacket and pants and top and the whole thing. I mean, very casual, of course, but kind of a fun look. So I had mentioned before I had bought a Speedy 20 strap that was adjustable from another YouTuber and you know, the craziest thing happened. I put it in the windowsill to tan it and one section of it tanned way more than the rest of it. And that bugs me. I mean, I've got this beautiful honey patina all the way around this bag. The handles are a hair bit lighter than the chaps, but for the most part, it's just almost perfectly even. And the strap matches it so well. But that other strap, the way it tanned the lighter part matches the bag perfectly but the darker part and that's the part i want in the front is darker so that bugs me but the color that it went on the darker part is the same color as my favorite mm so i'm currently trying to suntan the rest of it so that it'll all be the same honey patina that's kind of the tricky part about the vaquetta or vachette is that it doesn't always tan evenly if there are multiple pieces involved. Like for example, the handles and the chaps, I think sometimes, or probably oftentimes, the handles might be made one place and then the chaps might be made another and then they're all shipped or they're made at different times and they're all shipped to be assembled. And then you end up with perhaps, and this is all theory, you might end up with different cows being different parts of the same bag and you end up with uneven tanning because I mean as people we don't tan all at the exact same rate either so why would we expect cows to anyway so I I'm a little frustrated that that did that but I'm hoping if I leave the longer part of the strap which was the lighter part out it will get to where it's the same color as the rest of it and I'll be able to use it on a different bag. This jacket is squeaking. It's making me very hot. I still have a little bit of work to do on this one. I think that once I do a little bit more of that acrylic finish on it, it will squeak less. That's my goal and I'm sticking to it. But it does smell wonderful. It's genuine leather and it's got some really neat distressing on it. And I think it might even look pretty good with the bag I'm gonna show you today. Now this Gucci box has gotten a workout. It has been around the block with a few different unboxings. Let's go ahead and open it up one more time and see what's inside. And as soon as I get done with this unboxing, I can finally get around to doing my Gucci Marmot collection of six bags and show you kind of the differences between them. I think this packaging may have come after this bag was released because I think this is the newer package, the more vintage package, and I'm not sure that this one was part of that, but I may be wrong. So if you're like, my da -da 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 Gucci bag didn't come in that particular dust bag, well, that would be why. I'm just not sure enough, and I didn't want to search and search to try to figure out what dust bag, what, what bag. But let's go ahead and open her up. This is a goodie. So I have my Gucci Marmont camera style bag. Of course, this is called the small shoulder bag. It is not called a camera bag, but everybody and their sister calls this a camera bag. And I love the Gucci camera bag because unlike the Saint Laurent camera bag, it's much more curved. It has a much more feminine shape and the chain lends to that femininity as well. I also love that my three Gucci Marmont camera style bags all are very different. So like this one, for instance, has diagonal quilting and the leather is sort of almost like a glazed calfskin, something like what Tory Burch might call a glazed calfskin. It has a little bit of a weathered look and the hardware does too. And so that really complements it. Most Gucci hardware does seem to have a weathered look, and I've really only had one exception to that, and I'll get into that in my collection video. I love the chain details. I wish the strap was removable. 
I love how soft and squishy and pliable these bags are. And I will tell you that they do tend to hold their shape on top a lot better than the Saint Laurent counterpart. And that would be the Lou camera bag. Now, right now I have the strap tucked in, but this part of the Lou camera bag, it domes up a lot. And what you're seeing now is minimal compared to what it normally does. But like you can see right here, how warped that is. That is just par for the course with these bags. You can see it dents in right there, then it's tilted up across there. And while the leather on these is incredible, that's why I only have two of these. And that's why I have so, I have three of the Gucci's in the camera style, and then I've got three in the flap style. Now, Saint Laurent got it right with their Lulu flaps. I've got three of the Lulu flaps and three of the Lulu puffers. So I'm loving both brands, let's just say. I'll have to do Lulu collection too. If I do a Lou and a Lulu collection, we just might be here all day. And I think I might've already done that video, but I don't know. Starting, I'm starting to think maybe I should do videos over again. Cause when you have like over 300 videos, you know, People don't know what you've done and what you haven't done. You can just recycle, right? And plus my early videos, well, my lighting wasn't very good. I think I did a couple of them when I had COVID and I sounded God awful. There was an individual, there was a, there was a lovely lady or man, I can't remember, who commented today on my video where I compared my Saint Laurent collage bag and seaweed to the Rouge Lesion. And I did that when I had COVID. And literally, I was croaking out the words. I could barely talk. And recently, I did the collection video of the collage bags and I did the comparison over again, but in a little bit of a different spin since I was showing multiple bags. And I commented to them, you should check that video out. It's a lot, it's a lot easier to listen to and probably understand. Anyhow, you'll notice that the hardware on this bag down in the middle is dark and the hardware on the outside is sort of an aged brass. And so that's intentional. This is not tarnished. And they've done other zippers this way too. Like I think that my red one, when I had it, that it was also this way. So don't be alarmed if you see that. That's just the way it is supposed to be. So inside I have an insert by SUNY Bag and & Bag, and that is a company that's no longer in business, but Zumani makes one that's every bit as good. And so I will link them down in the description box. I have a discount code now with them and I do get a little bit of money. If you use my code, it's an affiliate code. So, you know, you can do that if you want, or you can use a different code. It's fine either way. But if you look here on the bottom, I have M Boutique Australia and what a perfect match their brown is to the brown on the outside of this bag. I love that for these bags because if you don't have it, you see how firm that is? If you don't have it, they get so saggy. I mean, look at that. You see how easy that squishes? I'm just barely putting any pressure on at all. So I know I harp and harp about these and some bags I like them more for than other bags, but the Marmont is one. If you look inside this microfiber, it feels amazing, but the color of it just feels so fragile to me. I guess it doesn't feel fragile. It feels luscious, but it looks fragile. You've got their Gucci patch there. And I think there's also like a serial code in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I'm gonna pop the insert back in, plop my denim jacket on. I think that this leather jacket that's meant to look like denim is gonna be the best look for this whole outfit with the brown bag. So yes, I think that definitely works. You see how long this crossbody is? This is a really good bag if you were on the taller side. I'm gonna look when I sit down and see how much adjustability it has, but I'm five foot eight and I'm about 145 pounds and I have all the length I need with this bag. If you look here, I have it pretty much in the middle setting. So if you're taller, it would work. If you're shorter, it would work. Some people prefer long shoulder, I don't. For this bag, I really prefer it crossbody. And this is the most amount I would want to come through. So if I was shorter, I wouldn't be as happy with it because this piece would end up flaring out more and I wouldn't like that. 
On the back of this, you'll notice that there is no GG, and I'll get into the differences between the different Marmont bags that I have when I do the video, but the red one I sold a while back, it did have a GG on the back, and it was basically stitched in, basically quilted just like these diagonal quilts are quilted onto this bag. So what else can I say? Some people love these. Well, I don't know if anybody loves them, but some people don't mind these and some people hate them. I don't mind them at all. I kind of have them sort of trained, I guess. I think they just sort of flip down and kind of lay up against the bag. When I have it in storage, I'll lay it across the top like that. And when I store it, just kind of wrap it around the outside of the bag at the base a couple times and then set it on the shelf. And I do that to protect the strap from getting all wonky. So I don't know if you all have any questions about this bag. It is a very lightweight bag. I love that about it. I love that it's compact, but it holds a bunch. This holds everything I need and maybe even a little bit more. There's no issues getting my phone in there. Everything fits that I showed you that I put into my Saint Laurent Lulu the other day. I can link that video down below. Everything fits that's in this BD20. That's of course a little bag, but they both pack a punch, let's just say. So I thought I would whip the last jacket on and show you what I love about it. So first, if you look here, it has this detail on the collar. Love that. On the sides here, this leather part is stretchy. Love that. On the bottom here, there are more buckles that you can loosen or tighten. Of course, it has the zippered pockets, which are in a really great spot. This one's all zipped up, so here we go. And because it has this stretchy part on the side, this jacket fits me better than the brown one. And I'm hoping the brown one will continue to stretch out just a little bit. I've been wearing it around the house and stretching it. The blue one is the perfect size. This one's the perfect size. The brown one's just a little bit, just a little bit too small, but it fits. And I'll probably never wear it unless I can stretch it out some. So I'm wearing it to watch TV and just pulling on it. And my gosh, I loosened it up so much doing that the first time I did it. Sort of like using a shoe stretcher, you know? But this is the interior. It's made out of a cotton material. The sleeves are made out of a silky material. So it's easy to get your arm in and out. And that's pretty consistent across the different ones, except for the brown one. The brown one is silky for the whole thing. I did also get one in a taupe color. And if I can find one, I'll pop a picture as I talk about it in here. It came and it had a pop stitch on the pocket. And not only that, but the stitching on that one was incredibly sloppy. There were multiple spots where the needle, like they had like doubled up a stitch and then there was a loose stitch. It was like they ran out of thread and left the loose thread hanging out and the stitches were not even, they were crooked. It was a disaster. And because it had a pop stitch, they agreed to pay for me to return it. It wasn't final sale like these other ones, the black one and the brown one are both final sale. But the one that I got that was the taupe color, and I think they called the color sand, but I may be wrong. But that one wasn't final sale. And so I could have returned it and just paid a $10 shipping fee. That isn't bad at all, but I am not gonna have to pay anything because I had a pop stitch. They asked me if I wanted to replace it though. And I was like, no thanks. I mean, just cause it was done so sloppily. And I actually have a pleather jacket that I like better than it because it looked nicer. And for some reason, the collar on it even, it just felt flimsy in comparison. I think it might be because they didn't put the wire in like they did with this one. It just felt cheap in comparison. I don't know how to say it other than that. So when you're looking, if you're looking at any of these that I showed you, just keep that in mind and I'll have put a picture in so you'll know which one maybe not to get. Or if you get it, you can return it, I think. So there's that. I think that's all she wrote. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.